Hey, what's up guys, welcome to Trending Reviews. So this is the WMX1 Duo, which is by a company called Movo. Essentially, this is a wireless microphone kit that comes with two transmitters and one receiver. Now this comes with an RF chipset that broadcasts on the open 2.4 gigahertz frequency, which basically means it gives you an interference-free and regulation-free wireless transmission. Now I'm gonna cover three things in this video. I'm gonna give you an unboxing, how to set this up, and then obviously some audio samples. So let's get straight into it. take this out okay so in the box you get a user guide then you have this very nice carry case as well let's go ahead and open this so there you have it there are two wireless transmitters and then you have one receiver let's go ahead and see what's in these packets so in the first packet you got the two wired lavalier mics you also have a 3.5 millimeter TRS cable, which is used for DSLRs, video cameras, and recorders. Then you also get a TRRS cable, which is basically for smartphones, tablets, and computers. So you can see it's got the smartphone label there as well, just to let you guys know that you can use this to connect to your phone. And in the last packet, you've got yourself a cold shoe mount for any of the wireless transmitters. You also get two clips for the wired mic and then also two wind sleeves for the microphone as well. So pretty standard stuff. Let's go ahead and set this up. Right, so let's talk about the wireless receiver. On the top, you have a line out port there. Then you also have a headphone port. So in case you wanted to listen to see if the audio is coming in correctly by the person who's shooting the video, then you can do that from that side. On the left hand side, you have the on off power switch there. Then you also have a volume button and a pairing button there to the actual transmitter. And at the bottom, you have the battery compartment. Now, the thing to note about these microphones is that they don't have inbuilt batteries, so you will require two AA batteries to put in there. Now, for the wireless transmitter, you have a line in port there, and then also a microphone port for the cable. Then on the left hand side, very similar, you have the on off button and then the pairing button as well. Now, on the bottom of each of these, they come with a belt clip, but for the actual receiver, if you wanted to mount this on top of your camera, then you can switch this out. So, all you have to do is turn this you'll see the arrow on there to the position you have to push this it pops out then you get the cold shoe mount and then you slot this in in that same position there we go now I'm going to put the AA batteries into this there is a symbol to tell you which is the plus and minus sides on the actual cap so now if I turn both of these on, you'll see there's a light that comes on. So let me go ahead, mount this, and then show you guys some sample audio. Okay guys, so I'm just connecting the lavalier mic into the microphone import there, not the line in one. I'm gonna connect this and put this onto my jeans and then see how the audio sounds on this. So currently the audio you're hearing right now is coming from my shotgun microphone just out of view of the screen above my head. Now let me go ahead and clip this on. So very easy, just clip it on wherever you like. Put this into your top. Okay, so now I'm going to be switching the audio from my shotgun microphone up here to the WMX1 Movo microphone. So now the audio is coming from here. Now I've got this connected to my shirt and let me know what you guys think in the difference of the audio. I think it's very clear having the wireless capability so I can move around. I can be a little bit more flexible, I can go away, I can go at distance. Now the one thing to remember with this microphone is that they say it's a maximum of 200 feet distance for the wireless transmission, which is roughly around 60 meters. But I'm gonna test this by going outdoors and I'm gonna go 60 meters, maybe push it to 100 meters as well and showcase to you guys two things. The audio quality when you're outdoors, maybe when it's windy to see if it's still very clear and to see how far I can go before the transmission in the audio starts to break or if it's still super clear from a very long distance. So let me go ahead and make that transition now. Okay guys, so now I'm outside. I've got the mic on and I'm testing the range on this. So they do specify it can go up to about 60 meters. This car park here is around 150 meters. So I'm gonna continue walking to see how far this audio transmission can go to the uh, receiver on the mirrorless camera. So let me go ahead and keep walking. And I'll give you some updates as I'm still walking as well. When I get to the 50 meter mark, then to the 100 meter mark, and then 
you guys get an idea of when I might cut out on my audio. So I'll say this is about 30 meters so far. Let's keep walking. And it's a nice sunny day today as well. Can you guys still hear my audio? It's, let's keep going a little bit. I'm getting wireless range, which should be the uh, cutoff point, but let's have a look. Can you guys still hear me? I'm uh, walking backwards now. Hopefully the audio is still coming through, but you guys are so far away. I can barely see you. I'm getting to the end of the park now. Getting close to 50. So here I am, right at the end. 150. It's very far away. And can you guys still hear me? All right, guys, so I played the audio back. I noticed as soon as I hit the 60 meter mark, it started to break a little bit. But I've noticed when I turn away from the microphone, that's when the audio cuts out. Even though I got to 100 meters, it still came out quite clear if I was facing directly at the camera in its line of sight. So the range is really good on it. And of course, as I got right down to the end of the car park, 150 meters, it still works a little bit, but I wouldn't expect you to use it at that range. 60 meters is more than enough for whatever filming you're doing. So I'm very happy with that. All right guys, so that was it. Now this is a awesome piece of kit. If you want the best audio for your filming, your video shoots, whatever it may be, then this is the one to get. I'll have a link down below on where you can purchase this. If you wanted to do podcasting with two people, the duo is the one you need to get. Otherwise you can get a single one as well if you're just doing one-to-one -one recording with just your camera. They are 180 pounds on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description below of where you can purchase that from both also Amazon and from the Movo website as well. So if there's anything else you'd like to know, then uh, drop a comment down below. Just remember, this might not be compatible with every single smartphone because some smartphones don't allow external microphones to be connected to their native camera apps. So just to be aware of that, but if you are going to use this with your DSLRs, mirrorless cameras, video recorders, and that kind of stuff, then it will work absolutely fine. I hope you subscribe. I've got tons more microphone and audio reviews coming out in the near future, which I know you're gonna like. I hope you like this video and I'll catch you guys next time. Take care.